there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. giant cats of the planet Felina had taken all the cows on Earth and captured Sweet Polly to milk them. And now they had the mighty underdog in the rubber trap. If at first you fail your deed, try again till you succeed. If at first you fail your deed, Try again till you succeed. If at first you fail your deed, try again till you succeed. Even the mighty underdog was no match for the super strength of the felina rubber trap. That does it. So that's the great underdog, huh? Eh? <laughs> Throw him in with sweet Polly. Underdog can help milk the cows. <laughs> underdog, speak to me. Speak to me. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Oh, underdog, you're so weak you can't even break our chains. We'll have to spend the rest of our lives milking stolen cows to feed the giant cats. My... my ring. Your ring? The secret compartment of my ring I fill with an underdog super energy pill. Of course. Here it is. Oh. while I give these cats some aches and pains. Let's jump them all together. He can't get us all. That's it. Race them all at once. When the earth needs milk, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away. What happened here looks like a storm struck. He was underdog over cat. Somehow he got all his power back and he beat us up and took all the cows and sweet Polly too. That settles it. I'll take care of underdog myself. I'll challenge him to a fight. A fight? Underdog voices over cut. And the winner gets the cows. But what if he won't fight you? He'll have to, or I'll wipe out the earth with my superpowers. <laughs> We just received a supersonic message for you. A message from Overcat. What does it say, Underdog? Overcat challenges me to a fight to the end. And he gets the cows if he should win. But you can't fight him, Underdog. He's as strong as you. Maybe... 
may be stronger. But in the message, Overcat had threatened to attack the Earth if Underdog refused to fight. Underdog had no choice. But could he possibly defeat the ferocious Overcat? The answer lies ahead in our next exciting episode. Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Two little Indians, no others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear. Fighting the army blue soldiers galore. What can two Indians do? Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Here comes the colonel with his sergeant. Both are roaring and a charging. Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch him. Go, go, go. Colonel Kit Coyote's secret weapon, called the Indian Giver Machine, made it possible for the Colonel to locate and attack the Indians wherever they were. So it was that the two Gopher Indians decided to leave Gopher Gulch in a hurry. I got a strange feeling they'll be back. Nonsense, it's all over. Now hear this, you officers. You're invited to a celebration. Meanwhile, Ruffled Feather and Running Board were inviting some friends to a little celebration of their own. <laughs> What him say? Him say we gonna have heap fun. You braves come to big powwow. We come. Now you men, we're going to have a celebration. But Colonel, sir, we've got to stay up here in case of attack. No more attacks, Private. Tear it down. Bully, bully. <laughs> What him say? Him say we have them big powwow. Invite them your whole tribe. We have heap fun. We come. Tear down the wall, Sergeant. Begging the Colonel's pardon, but uh... no but, Sergeant. I said, tear them down. Bully. Now invite all those settlers to our celebration. What, what him, him say? say? Him say, oh great chiefs, we are gonna have he big powwow. Lots of fun. We want them whole Indian nation to come. We come. What we bring? Bring them guns, boom booms, war bonnets, <laughs> you name them. Well, I, I, I don't know. say that he wanted to have an acorn in his firewater. <laughs> My friends, Gopher Gulch is now secure. The United States Army has driven out the Indians. Hooray! All two of them. And our mission here is accomplished. Hooray! Therefore, as a symbol of peace, I want all officers to break their swords. And all soldiers to bend their muskets. Sergeant, fill the cannon with concrete. Peace in our time. Let joy reign unconfined. <laughs> and now, and now, let's eat, drink, and uh, what is that noise, Sergeant? Begging the Colonel's pardon, that's the Indian alarm. Nonsense! There are no more Indians. Now, let's eat, drink, and be merry. Begging the Colonel's pardon, but before you start being too merry, you better have a good look at this Indian giver machine. Wow! Indians! We're surrounded! They're attacking! Close the gates! Oh, no gates. Fire the cannon! Colonel, I... Fire! Fire it, I say! Charge! Make every shot count! men, we've suffered a little setback. But we'll just look into the Indian giver and find out where they are, and... Uh, uh, begging the colonel's pardon, but they took the Indian giver, too. Now, that's going too far. 
To horse, men! After them! Charge! Charge! Y'all don't want to miss the next episode. The Colonel should be back in uniform by then, and things will really be popping. about the time I bagged a lion without firing a shot? Sometimes I would really enjoy it. I'd gone to Africa in search of rare insects. I had no trouble catching specimens for my collection because my powerful magnifying glass made even the tiniest insect look large as an elephant. Then I spotted a very unusual insect fluttering about the top of the tall grass. I grabbed it. I realized that I had made a slight mistake and started to apologize, but the lion started after me. I had come to the edge of a cliff. Below me was a river full of man-eating crocodiles, and the lion was closing in. It looked like the end. Good heavens, I should think so. But thinking quickly, I held up my powerful magnifying glass. It made me look like a giant. I roared... and frightened the life out of the beast. With a magnifying glass. Magnificent. Quite. the century, the hero of the world, the mighty underdog, fighting the bully of the world, the ferocious overcat. And for this fight of superpowers, this was a super ring. The ropes were really steel cables, the posts were solid iron, and the ring floor was sheet aluminum. Be careful, underdog, be careful. Be careful, underdog, be careful. <laughs> Try this. Oh, no. Poor underdog. One. Two. Three. Don't bother counting, one, ref. I never need five, more than one punch. Six. Seven. He's up. Underdog is up. He's a sitting duck. Your atomic breath, underdog. Use your atomic breath. When we battle for what is right, we must not give up the fight. Use your sledgehammer fist, underdog. It's your only chance. So it's the sledgehammer fist, eh? Well, try mine. <laughs> you ought to make a nice punching bag, underdog. Now let's try my feet. Now we can get those cows. You show them, Overcat. If it's punching bags you like for fun, then I'll show you the way it's done. Maybe you'd like to go for a spin, huh? <laughs> oh, Underdog, it looks hopeless. He has all your powers, and he's bigger than you. 
That's it. He's too big to be fast as me, and he can't hit what he can't see. <laughs> Underdog's moving so fast, Overcast can't hit him. Finish Overcat and let the other worlds live as they please, and I'll give you milk growing from your trees. And so, when the giant cats banished Overcat from Felina, the mighty underdog gave the cats what he had promised. Milk growing from trees. Coconut trees. So all the cats were happy, except one. So they drew me out of Felina, huh? Well, I'll find me another planet. And then I'll get stronger than ever. And then I'm gonna come back and wipe out Underdog. Will Overcat find another planet? Will he become stronger than ever? And back on Earth, what other dangers await the heroic Underdog? Don't miss the next exciting adventure of Underdog. <laughs>